Hospitals are especially protected under international humanitarian law because of the life-saving function that they have for the wounded and sick. This means that parties to conflicts cannot attack hospitals and they cannot otherwise prevent them from performing their medical functions. On the contrary, they must not only refrain from attacking them, they must actually do everything they can to support their work and protect them. So under IHL, the principle is clear. Hospitals are protected. That said, they can lose their protection if they are used outside of their humanitarian function to commit acts harmful to the enemy. This can be something like hiding able-bodied fighters or using them as a weapons depot. And because of the serious consequences for patients and medical staff of such misuse of hospitals, the ICRC is always calling for the medical function to really be respected and protected at all times. So the starting point is the hospital is protected. Now, the party has to do everything feasible to verify that it has lost its protected status. This means it has to do a factual assessment before the attack on the basis of her facts reasonably available to it. So the first thing when a hospital has lost its protected status is that a warning has to be given. And the purpose of such a warning is to allow those who misuse the hospital to stop the acts harmful to the enemy or if they persist, to allow for the safe evacuation of patients and medical staff. Now, of course, evacuation isn't always feasible of patients in hospitals and even less so, of course, in conflict situations. So what would this warning look like? Under international humanitarian law, the warning has to allow a reasonable time limit for the opposing party to be able to cease its acts harmful to the enemy or to take measures to protect the patients. So it depends on how big is the hospital, how difficult is it to evacuate people and so on. And in terms of the delivery, again, it has to be effective. It has to be done in good faith to allow the opposing party to protect patients and medical staff. So you will have to adapt your language, the way you deliver it, in order for it to effectively reach the opposing side. This does not mean there's a free license to attack. Under Riot Shell, every attack is always subject to the principles of proportionality and precaution. This means that the party that to the conflict has to do everything feasible in order to avoid or at least minimize harm to patients and medical staff. And under the principle of proportionality, the party has to ask itself, will the death, the injury, the destruction caused by this operation not be excessive in relation to the concrete and direct military advantage pursued? And when you picture a hospital in a fighting zone, it's most probable that the harm to healthcare services and delivery will not only be in the short term, but also in the medium and the long term. In this, in a situation of conflict, where the delivery of health service is all the more crucial because of the high number of wounded and sick.